Okay, so when we're talking about cobwebbing to generate these graphical solutions, I mentioned equilibrium. Okay, so an equilibrium point is anywhere where your function, right, your update function, intersects with this identity line. Okay, so if our, if our model was xt plus 1 is equal to f of xt, right, if this is our discrete time dynamical system, where x value at time t plus 1 is some function of the x value at time t, right, this function, right, was our update rule, or updating function, okay, and then when we drew this cobwebbing diagram, we saw that, okay, we plot our f, right, our update rule in the xt versus xt plus 1 graph, we plot that update rule, and then we also plotted this identity line, right? This x of t plus 1 is equal to x. Okay? And where these intersect, I said, were equilibrium points. And so what does that mean? What that means is that these are places where the function value at x is equal to x of t plus 1, right? So this says that x of t plus 1 is equal to x t which is also equal to f of x, right? This describes an equilibrium point. And we call it equilibrium because once it's there, it's gonna stay there, right? It's sort of not changing anymore once it gets to the point. And the reason for that is, okay, let's say I had x star, right, is my equilibrium point. If x star is an equilibrium point, well, if I tried to do my next update, right? X of plus one, let's say this was my X zero, right? Then my next X would be F of X zero, which is F of X star. But because it's an equilibrium point, right? And it's sitting right here. F of X star is equal X star, right? Because it intersects this line. Update is equal to itself. Okay, so that means that this is equal to x star, which means that x1 is also x star now, right? And then if we did this again, right, f of x star, we keep getting x star. As we, as we try to keep updating, we're staying at x star, so it's an equilibrium. Okay, and so for this problem here, we had three equilibrium points. We have one here, one here, and one there. Right, so here we had three equilibria, right? And depending on where we started with our initial conditions, our solutions would head to one of these three equilibrium. So when we started, uh, let's go with a new color, go with green. If we start here, right, we cobweb up here. Yeah, we go here, and we're going to head into that point. We start, let's say here, we're gonna cobweb towards that point as well. If we start, let's say here, cobweb down towards that point, okay? So loosely we can see that there's two different kinds of equilibriums. There's equilibriums that you cobweb towards, that solutions are going to, and equilibrium points that solutions are moving away from. Okay, so we loosely think of these as stable and unstable. Right, or stable are the ones where solutions are moving towards, unstable are the ones where solutions are moving away from them. Okay, and we'll get into that more in the next chapter. Um, but but right now you can kind of just think about it from where are solutions going and where are solutions going away from. Okay, and so now that we have this algebra here, we can find equilibrium points for any of our dynamical systems by just doing some algebra. Okay, so let's look at our medication example. Right. This example, we had the discrete time dynamic system mt plus 1 was equal to half mt plus 1, right? This said that every day, the amount of medication, right, the amount of medication in our body was half of what it was the day before. Right? Because we absorb some of it, our body used it up. Plus 
on your, you know, daily dose and taking a pill or something. So in this case, if we want to find the equilibrium point, right? So what is the equilibrium amount? Right? Are we going to have a lot of medications sitting in our body for all time? Is it going to keep growing and growing, which can make us really sick? Or is it going to go to zero and then we don't have any medicine to do what we need it to do? So to solve this, right? So this is our F of M. This is our update point. Solve for the equilibrium point, we replace mt and mt plus 1 with m star, right? f of m star, right? We're looking for where uh, we plug in a value and we get the same value out from this update rule, right? So m star is equal to 0.5 m star plus 1. And then we just do some algebra, right? So we want to keep the m's, we want to pull the m's to one side, so m minus half. m star, m star minus half m star is equal to 1. So this is like 1 times m minus a half times m, so that's 1 minus a half m star equals 1, or 0.5 m star equals 1, right? And then we just want to divide by half, or we could write this as maybe 1 over 2, more clear, that we multiply through by 2. Right? And that tells us that the equilibrium concentration or the equilibrium amount of medication is two milligrams because that those are units of our problem right and if we go back to you know our cobweb diagram right we had 0.5x1 we saw that that was the equilibrium that we had before so if i started here Right, we move towards that one at concentration two, two. Right, so where they intersect was at two. X equals two, and X T plus one is zero. Right? If I start higher than that, right, we get also goes down to two. If I start exactly at two, then it stays there. Right, it doesn't change. That is truly a stable equilibrium point problem. All right. Let's do another where we have um, let's th let's go back to our bacteria population example, right? So in this case, we had uh, the population at time t plus one was two times population at time t, right? So if we try to solve for the equilibrium, right? What's our equilibrium population? Right, in this case, we have p star is equal to 2p star, right? So if I try to uh, combine these, right, I'll have, I can subtract maybe p star from that side, so we'll get 0 is equal to 3p star minus p star. So 0 is equal to p star, right? So that tells us that the equilibrium is at 0, right? Which makes sense, right? If you start with nothing, you'll only have nothing for all time. But is this going to be a stable or an unstable equilibrium? Well, let's look at our cobweb diagram. Right? Make our update function 2 times x. And so here, here's our update function. Oh, sorry. Over. Right, so our update function is 2 times x. So here it is in blue, and then there's the identity line. And so here's the intersection at 0, so that's our equilibrium point. So then if I start, let's say, with 2, right, let's start with maybe 1. Right, if I iterate this, it's moving away, right? It's growing exponentially, right? And if I start 0, it stays at 0 all time, okay? But if you start with any amount of population, it's going to grow away. So this is an unstable equilibrium because if you have even a little bit of bacteria, they're going to multiply. If you have zero, you're obviously going to stay at zero. Okay. Let's do one last one. So we have a tree height example, right? Which we saw last time when we did the cobweb cobwebbing that it didn't have an equilibrium. Let's see if we can see that algebraically, right? So our tree height problem, 
a model was ht plus one ht plus one height the next year equals the height this year plus one meter so if we look for an equilibrium point right we're going to do h star is equal to h star plus one well let's subtract h star from you know get this alone so we do h star minus h star is equal to one or zero equals one which doesn't make sense so there isn't an equilibrium possible right there is no place where this update rule intersects with the identity line right and if we go back to our geogebra right this little cobwebbing tool right x plus one was our function and if you look at it those lines never intersect there isn't an equilibrium we talked about this last time you put any tree height it'll just keep growing one meter at a time for us there's never even a single tree for which its height never right so so in the previous one when we started with a bacterial colony of zero bacteria well then it stayed zero forever here if we start a tree of zero height technically it grows one for eight or one meter a year according to our update rule okay there isn't any sort of tree that doesn't grow once it gets to some certain height okay and so you know that's how you find the equilibrium graphically and also algebraically. 